morning everyone here we will uh, discuss some questions of exercise 2.2 our inverse trigonometric function chapter so in this your question number 5 exercise 2.2 question number 5 there is a condition prove that sin cot inverse cos tan inverse x is equal to root x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 that i want to prove my right hand side so in my left hand side if we saw the there are number of functions are there but first very first we have to solve this tan inverse x so that means if cos is outside so i have to convert this tan inverse x into cos inverse x form so that we can cancel one by one all the term and move at the last term that is without bracket okay So very first we try to solve this small bracket. So tan inverse x. I want to convert this tan inverse x into cos inverse x. So first I go with my right angle triangle here. So if my x angle is here, so uh, like uh, any angle is here. If you consider tan inverse x is equal to theta. So this shows that perpendicular upon base. So this is perpendicular. This is base. Okay, if this is perpendicular and this is base, according to that, my hypotenuse will be one plus x square squared. So that means if I have perpendicular, I have base, I have hypotenuse. So I can directly write cos inverse x as base cos inverse uh, like cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse. And if I want to write cos inverse that will be cos inverse base upon hypotenuse so my term will be sin cot inverse cos then cos inverse base upon hypotenuse 1 plus x square square root now i can directly this cancel cos with cos inverse x so what is left in place of this only two terms will be left it here so that is sin Cot inverse. This cos and cos is cancelled, and what is left? One upon one plus x square square root. Okay. Now question is that now one bracket is solved. Cot inverse. X. Now this term connected with the cot inverse x. Now my next part is I have to convert this cot inverse x into sin inverse x so that I can cancel the outside term. So I can go again with cot inverse x is equal to theta so this is my theta so that is base upon perpendicular because cot theta is base upon perpendicular then cot inverse will be cot inverse base upon perpendicular so base is 1 and perpendicular is 1 plus x square square root now if i go with pythagoras theorem here so what i will get it here so if i go with pythagoras theorem here So that is one square plus one plus x square root root and square is cancelled. Only one plus x square is there, and root is cancelled and under square root that become two plus x square root. So that means if I got the hypotenuse, I got the perpendicular, I got the base. So I want to write sine theta. Sine theta term will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse and sin inverse will be perpendicular upon hypotenuse then how i will write it here so that is sin sin inverse my perpendicular is 1 plus x square square root and this is 2 plus x square square root then sin is can sin sin inverse is cancel 1 plus x square then x square plus 2 square root so that is exactly my right hand side that i want to prove now my next question is your seventh question seventh part if i have tan inverse 3 by 4 plus tan inverse 3 by 5 minus tan inverse 8 by 19 that i want to prove is equal to 5 by 4 so first thing i have to pick only this term this two terms so i will check about this x and this y term because i have a formula of like tan inverse x 
plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse that is x plus y upon 1 minus xy only in that condition if xy so xy will be less than 1 now i apply it here on these two terms so i will check for this 3 by 4 multiply by because this is considered as my x term this is considered as my y term so when you multiply this so that gives you 9 by 20 so this is less than 1 so if my condition is true i can directly apply this formula in place of first two terms this one tan inverse 3 by 4 3 by 4 in place of x and 3 by 5 in place of y so what other term i write as it is because i am already picked here left hand side because i want to prove left hand side is equal to right hand side so now when you calculate this one you will get tan inverse so four fives are 20 yes and 15 plus 12 by 20 and in the denominator will be 20 minus 9 by 20 so in both the cases numerator and denominator denominator is same so we cancel the denominator so what is left it here 27 and 20 minus 9 is 11 and this 20 is cancelled with each other so my required condition is left it here like tan inverse so that will be 27 by 11 and minus tan inverse 8 by 19 now i check for the condition of my another formula that is tan inverse x minus tan inverse y that is tan inverse x minus y 1 plus xy so i check for this condition but that a formula is only applicable if xy will be greater than minus 1 so if you multiply suppose this is your x value this is your y value so if we multiply and check 27 by 11 into 8 by 19 so if you check this one uh, this will be greater than minus 1 because both are positive terms so this condition satisfied so i can apply this formula right here if my condition satisfied so what is the formula of tan inverse x minus tan inverse y in place of x you will replace 27 by 11 place of y you replace 8 by 19 so what will be my answer here tan inverse 27 by 11 minus 8 by 90 by 1 plus 27 by 11 into 8 by 90 so when you calculate this one so here 11 into 90 11 into 19 so that is same uh, denominator will be there so tan inverse 27 into 19 minus 88 and denominator is same in both the cases 11 into 19 plus 27 into uh, 8 because 11 by 11 into 19 and also denominator will commit here and same it above here so after calculation when i calculation the whole term so that gives you numerator give me 425 and denominator also give me 425 after the calculation when this term is cancelled tan inverse 1 is left and tan inverse 1 exactly equal to pi by 4 that is my right hand side term thank you